Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics Pre-Cal series. In today's video, we are going to be expanding on our first exponentiation video, and we're going to explore negative exponents and fractional exponents. We'll start with negative exponents. So, one of our laws of exponents states that x to the power of negative 1 is simply the inverse of x, which is 1 over x. And we can explore the rest of the negative exponents we can understand what's happening here just by using our rules that we, we explored in the first video. So x to the power of negative 2 can be expanded to x to the power of negative 1 times 2. And we know from our first video that this can be rewritten again as x to the power of negative 1 to the power of 2. So what we have here is x to the power of negative 1 we can rewrite that as 1 over x, as we stated here. This is being raised to the second power. So we're going to have uh, 1 over x times 1 over x. And when we multiply fractions together, we multiply the top and the bottom separately. And so we're left with 1 over x times x. Two iterations of x on the bottom means that this is 1 over x squared. And so we're left with a rule here. Anytime we have x to the power of a negative exponent, like x to the power of negative 2, we simply invert it, and that x on the bottom is raised to a positive version of this power. So x to the n to any number would be, to any negative number, excuse me, would be 1 over x to the positive n. And now let's explore fractional exponents. So if we had x to the power of 1 half. Now what does this really mean exactly? Let's look at it by multiplying x to the power of 1 half by itself. And as we learned in the previous video, when you multiply two exponents together, you add, when you multiply two quantities with exponents together, you add their exponents. So this would be the same thing as x to the power of 1 half plus 1 half, which is equal to x to the power of 1, which can just be written as x. So x to the power of 1 half when you multiply it by itself, it's simply x. And what numbers do we know that do that? Square roots. So the square root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 half. It's another one of our exponent laws. And we can explore this further. What if we had x to the power of 1 third? Well, if we multiplied x to the power of 1 third by itself, and again, We multiply our quantities together by adding up their exponents. So we have x to the power of 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 third, which is equal to x to the power of 1, which is simply x again. So with this one, we are taking the cube root of x is equal to 1 third. All right. Thank you for watching. Be sure to click on our logo here in the bottom corner to visit our website for even more math resources, including our pre-calculus textbook, which is available for only $10. And also be sure to subscribe to our channel for more math videos.